here is the brand new E3 ASIC miner. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's plug it in, set it up to the pool, and get this thing hashing. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the Ant Miner E3. I'm gonna show you guys how to connect it to the power supply unit and then connect it in the GUI interface settings as well. So I'm using the older APW++ power supply. There is a newer, different power supply that we will go over later. Um, and this time there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ATX connectors. All right, so let's go ahead and plug those in as well as the ethernet, ethernet sorry, that will be running from your ethernet control board for the amp miner to your network. All right, so let's go ahead and plug these in and turn it on and see what this sounds like and get it hashing. All right, so that's it. All of the cables are in. You wanna make sure that they're in securely. So double check your connections. And let's go ahead and turn this puppy on. All right, let's uh, ramp up and see what it sounds like. Still quite loud. Let's go ahead and set up this Ant Miner E3. 
So right now, we are currently only pulling 364 watts because we are not stable and not hashing. So the first thing I want to do is press this IP reporter button. You'll see that it will turn red, which it has. And then you'll download IP Recorder, and I'll put this in the link in the description. I'm just going to click Start. Now, if nothing has shown up yet, what you'll do is you go back to the miner. Let's go back to the miner. Let's click IP Report one more time. Hold it down for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then look what happens. It pops right up. So that's our IP, 192.168.129. You write that down somewhere so you know how to get back into the interface of your miner. So let's go ahead and log in real quick. All right, so the username and password every time, root, root. So now we are signed in. This is the Antminer E3. I'll go ahead and switch to a picture in picture to set everything up for you. But you'll see there's the miner status, miner configuration, network page, and system. All right, let's go ahead and get this set up now so it can start hashing to your pool. All right, let's go ahead and set this Antminer E3 up to the ethermine pool and get this thing hashing. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna have to head into the GUI interface of the ant miner and head over into the miner configuration. So if you haven't already, you're gonna go ahead and type in the address we found from the IP reporter. And then we're gonna head over to miner configuration and let's go ahead and get our pool URL and username. So to get our URL is we can choose from Asia server, Europe server, US East server, or the US West server. I'm on the US East coast, so we're gonna choose the East coast. So we're going to go ahead, copy that down, and enter that into your URL. Go ahead and put a colon, and then now we wanna go ahead and add the stratum port. So the stratum port is 4444. Now, what we can do from here is we can copy and paste these fields. So we're gonna copy, paste, copy, paste, and then now, what you'll need to do, if you have not already gotten a wallet, is get a wallet so you can put the wallet address into your username. Okay, so for your username, you're going to need your wallet address and username. So we'll go ahead and enter E3 minor digi. Now, for the passwords, you can change those to whatever you would like, but most of the time, you're gonna to want to leave them blank. I'm just gonna put X here for now. So let's go ahead and save the changes and let's wait for these changes to be applied. Now let's go ahead and click on minor status. As you can see, we don't have any connection to the pool yet as far as hashing. We can't see the temperature of the boards or the PCBs or the chip yet. So let's go ahead and wait for this to connect to the pool and then we'll check it again. Okay, I've refreshed it once. We didn't get anything yet. It's been about four minutes. I'm gonna refresh it again one more time. And there we go. We're starting to get a hashing of 198 plus a hashing average of 197. It's only been up for two minutes up and connected. Our temperatures are very, very low, but that's because we are keeping it inside in AC, very, very cool conditions. So we see the two O's there. That means that we're good. All the temps are very good. You see, this is the system. If you go into the kernel log, this is going to tell you that everything that the miner that is doing. So if you have any issues, you always can revert back to the kernel log to see what's going on. So we see that everything is connected on this end. Let's go ahead and check the actual pool and see if it's showing up at the ether mine and if there's a worker showing. As of now, there isn't. So let's go ahead and refresh it in a few minutes and see if it's showing yet. 
All right, let's go ahead and refresh this, and we see that we're up for about 13 minutes with a hash rate of around 200. You can also see the temp and PCB chips are still very low. Now, I already refreshed this, but you see we finally have an active worker with 27 shares, and you can see that it is finally connected to the pool. So overall, this was a pretty quick setup. Everything worked flawlessly as far as getting it connected to the pool and having no issues with stability. Now that it's connected and hashing, I want you guys to listen to how quiet it really is when it's mining. It's actually relatively silent. I mean, 63, 60 decibels is nothing. Our watt draw is only 791 watts as they advertise, which is very, very good. And the miner is still running and is silent. I'm going to let you guys listen to it for a second. I hope you guys enjoyed the setup video. Um, I hope it was fluent, fast, quick, and that you guys grasped all the information. Um, if there is anything else that I didn't touch on, please let me know in the comments so I can follow up. But let's also talk a little bit about the Antminer E3 and pricing. So as we all know, the first batch was only $800, and then I believe the second batch was $1,800, and then now we are either on the third or fourth batch, which is at about $1,262. So with shipping, which is about another $200, and taxes and duties when you bring this thing in, you're looking at about a $1,500 purchase. Now you're going to have to weigh the pros and cons about this amp miner if it does work for you or does not work for you i mean we all know there's a lot of volatility in the market right now so we don't know if it's going to skyrocket up or keep on going down but i wanted to give you guys a good setup video that was right to the point and will help you guys get your amp miner connected to any one of the pools and to mine either your Ethereum or Ethereum Classic. Again, guys, I hope this video helped. If there's anything that I did not cover, please let me know in the comments. For now, Digi out.